or in our region, actually probably even not, the um, biographies about all of these people um, are on the site. However, I pulled just a few things to say about Karen. Um, one is that which isn't in there, is probably she might be referred to in region one as the vocal production guru. I think that's probably sums up about everything. Um, Karen serves on the educational faculty in region one. She <laughs> belongs to all three barbershop organizations, um, the men and both women's organizations. And um, she has had many, many educational opportunities in our region to share all of her knowledge. She sings bass in rhythm method. And uh, you can talk to her about that at some other time because that's a really interesting group of people and they are very, they sing wonderfully and they're very funny. Um, she did sing bass in Boston accent, which were region one champs and Harmony Inc. Queens. She didn't wear her crown tonight, but she does have one. Um, okay. She has directed a number of groups uh, Merrimack Valley and two barbershop harmony <laughs> choruses. She teaches vocal production, gives PVIs, and actually anything else that you want to know about singing barbershop, Karen has the information. For your intellectual and enjoyable evening, Karen Rourke. Thank you. Hi, Karen. Hi. Woohoo. All right, here we go. Barbershop, put a ring on it. And I forgot there was an introduction, so I'm gonna cram it all in here now. <laughs> so let's talk a little bit about acapella first. And the definition is on the screen. Yeah. This is the original definition in chapel or choir style or in the manner of the chapel. So we're not the only ones who sing acapella. And what I thought we might do is you guys could speak up or write into the chat Give me some styles of acapella that you're familiar with. Doo wop. Doo wop's good. I don't know. Awesome. What? Madrigal. Magical. Gregorian chant. All right. Motets. Motets. Is that a style of acapella? What uh, was maybe that? not. <laughs> what was that one? Motet. I think that just might be a, a type of a group. Who else? Uh, mm, well, if Madrigal is okay, then Motet should be okay. That's probably Sorry. true. Anything else? Wow, you're in for a treat. Let's move on. <laughs> so everything that you said, other than the Madrigal and Motet so far, are, are on my list of samples. We're gonna play through about three minutes worth of samples of other kinds of acapella. So first one I called choral, which is not necessarily religious, but I'm grouping that into religious and choral. So you can go ahead, Kate. <laughs> Okay. And then we're going to be listening to gospel. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot that you couldn't hear the sound. Oh, okay. So you should be able to let me try because I was sharing computer sound. So hold on. Sorry. Yeah. And then share. Right. I can always do the clicking here too, I suppose, huh? Well, is it, are you hearing the sound or no? No. Uh, I heard. I heard. Woo hmm. Woo okay, we are hold on. How many of us here could sing Randall Thompson's Alley? That's right. right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, just to. Okay. 
I, I think I solved the problem. Sometimes my headphones don't. What drops blood sugar faster? Prescriptions? Because <laughs> I have all of them queued up, Karen, so the time codes you want, and I have all the apps. Here's what most medical experts... Well, I can't hear it. Technical difficulties? Technical difficulties, apparently. Mm -hmm. Just skip the ad <laughs> over there. Um, the other thing, everybody, about us trying to share videos, it really works better if everyone's video is off and you're muted. So I know okay. it's not cool. It's not a lot of fun, but it's honestly the best way to get this much video stuff to stream. Is it paused or are we, are we buffering? That's just on my screen that it's paused. Now I'm trying to figure out how to get it off my screen. I could hear it the first few times that she did it. Oh. At the bottom, Karen, there should be a stop share. Because I have a new share. Mm -hmm. It's at the very, very bottom of the computer screen. It's red, it says stop share. I just want to get out of this. How do you like it so far? <laughs> You're great, Karen. <laughs> if you just um, let it play and skip the ad, which is over on the far right, it, it should start playing. And We heard some of that, Karen. Oh, you, yeah. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I don't know what, it, everything went away. Yep. So you can't play it, Kate, though? I have it, I have it open and I have it here, so. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead and play it on your end. Okay, so you heard a piece of that. And the next thing we have is gospel. be able to just tab over if that's what we want to do I can just yeah you can move on, move on to the next thing which was um pop and rock pop rock So that was that was pop rock. That was uh, straight no chaser. And then we've got doo wop. Sorry, 
Helen, are you having a hard time hearing the sound? There's a waste of time. I heard it fine. I was hearing it fine. <laughs> yeah, me too. It was fine. Okay. It, it was guys, fine. Yeah, it, it was fine. It was fine. Okay. It's perfect on a phone. Cool. If you guys could put technical difficulties in the chat, because if we're playing this much samples, we won't be able to hear you over the music. So that would be super great. And Mary and I can try and help you. Okay. You might want to remind people to stop their video too again. Yep. So actually, I wanted to play that one again because it's fairly short. And I included it because I really like what they included at the end. Okay. No sleep on hill as long. I, en I enjoy it when they did that in the uh, <laughs> in that category. So somebody mentioned Gregorian chant, and we have a little bit of that. And nobody mentioned hip hop or rap, but here's a little bit of that. Oh, no praying for love. Oh, say love. Just ask the lonely. Oh, oh. just ask the lonely. Pray for who lost their fate and died too young. Pray for the ones I hate, the ones I love. Pray for my liver when I'm off in this club. I pray that the demons go away, they haunting us. Man, I can't. Which also includes beatboxing, which we, we tend to throw into some of our music now. Uh, and then we have contemporary. And from contemporary, I chose a piece of the King Singers. When the night has been too lonely and the road has been too long and do you think that love is only for the lucky and the strong? So nice. So pretty. And, and we have one more, uh, one more example of acapella, unless somebody's thought of something else that I haven't mentioned, but I just really like this group. This is African gospel. <laughs> Je veux te dire merci, mon Dieu, mon sauveur, pour tes bontés renouvelées dans ma vie. Je veux te dire merci, mon Dieu, mon papa, pour tout ce que tu as fait pour moi. Je... <laughs> okay, bring me back. Excellent. Can you all see me again? Oh, everybody can unmute because we're going to talk for a minute. So I'm having difficulty sharing my screen with you. Kate, is, is there a way you can just show the slide on your, on your screen mm -hmm. as well? Yep, I can. Okay. Oh, okay. I could see you fine. Oh. Are you are you up? Oh, sorry. Yeah. Oh, wrong button. 
Yep. Okay. So she's she's sharing the. Uh, oh, I'm only seeing my screen. We see you. We see both. We see them both. Well, you're seeing my email, right? No. No. no oh, you, have ah, here we go. So we already did more styles of acapella. Yep. And we and we can go past the next stream. Yeah. So now let's get our ears tuned up a little bit with this next clip. This is pretty straight barbershop. Uh, oh, good. This will work. <laughs> Sorry, I haven't done this many screens before, so I'm just trying to make sure it's all coming through okay, everybody. So. Anybody know who it is? Cracker Jills. Absolutely. Okay, so now that you have, so it's all a cappella, but there's a big difference between barbershop and all of those other styles that we just listened to. Um, it, ne next screen, Kate. Yes. So don't show them this screen now. Thank you. All right. So what I'm curious about is what made you interested in a cappella, what in barbershop? Specifically in barbershop, not in other kinds of acapella music. A friend of mine persisted in me joining and trying it against my will. Okay. <laughs> and once I got in the door, I fell in love. Yeah, I kind of had no choice. So there you have it. <laughs> Relatives. <laughs> Friends and I relatives. I fell in love with barbershop when I saw the music man. Oh, when I saw the Music Man years ago, many years ago. <laughs> I enjoyed the visual, the visual piece with the, with the sound because I had always just done choral and church music. So yes. when I when I saw the, the visual piece married with the music, it was pretty exciting. I was asked to go to the first meeting of the, uh, group in Worcester, and so. I started with the group when it started. I had never really heard Barbershop except with the men before okay. that. So, so a friend or an advertisement? Oh, well, the friend just said, we're going. Okay. <laughs> and took me. Anyone else? It was the <laughs> harmony that got me, just <laughs> hearing the harmony. The. The educational piece was huge for me. The harmony, the energy. Uh, when we lived in San Francisco, we went to the, the men's uh, international uh, competition. It was, I think, in 1975 or 74. Mm -hmm. And then once I once I retired and we came to the Cape, uh, mm -hmm. you know, it, it had it had to be uh, Cranberry Shores, you know. <laughs> I used to sing harmony with, with my sisters and. I learned about this and I thought I better I go. So I went with some of my friends and that was January 2nd, 21 years ago. I still right. believe it. There was, a, there was a little ad in the uh, Metro West paper uh, when we first moved to uh, Framingham. Oh, back in 1970. Uh, seven or something and so I called the membership person and she said we will come to a rehearsal so I came to a rehearsal and when I got there they were going into the hall for the rehearsal and they had top hats and they were doing uh, New York New York with choreo and all that and it blew my mind <laughs> I was hooked okay all right let me let me move on from here unless somebody has something in particular else that they want to share. And, and, and I'm seeing the comments coming up here too that uh, Marion is monitoring. So let's take a look at the screen, at the, uh, the slide. 
So with all the things that you just said, I had a few others, the singing, the sound, the friends. Nobody mentioned music choice. Performing, I think, was mentioned. Quartetting and not having to be a soloist. Mm. Yep. <laughs> so if so, those these are all the things that attracted you right. initially to try it. What was the thing that made you stay? Um. What was the thing that hooked you? Wow. The sound. The sound. Uh, the, the, what was that? Friend. The director. <laughs> Somebody said the journey. Hmm. Well, Just that moment, that moment, what I'm looking for is that moment when you thought, I'm doing this. What hooked you? What was the hook? You got the when friends. When your when your voice locks in and you're on the risers and it's just like a really tight. It's just really cool to feel that you're a part of that sound. Okay. All right. Let, let, let's move the screen so you can see what I thought the answer was going to be. Mm -hmm. Also, the quality of connection. Yeah, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, quality of connection, friend, the friendship, the camaraderie. There's so much stuff, but sound barbershop, sure. has, barbershop has that overtone and that ring and that lock, the excitement that it generates, I think, when we sing it, when it's yeah. sung well. That, that a lot I, of don't, I don't think any other style really has that. Yeah. Oh, my teeth oh, doesn't like that, <laughs> Kathy. <laughs> All right, what's the next screen? So what makes it? All right, I won't make you come up with this list. So we'll move on to the next screen. Here's the educational part. So good barbershop has strong implied harmony, not necessarily true in other acapella. Matter of fact, that Randall Thompson, you would never know where the harmony was going, right? Where the melody was going. The harmony is above the melody, which is very, very specific to barbershop. Um, the volumes of the parts in an SATB chorus, generally the soprano and the tenor voices are the most predominant voices and the most featured voices. In barbershop, <clears throat> it's the lows that we're looking for. You know, the, the lead and the bass are the fuller sounds and everybody sings light, not, not a lighter volume, but you know, a more tenor <laughs> volume on the top and a fuller, wider sound on the bottom, no matter what part you sing. Another thing about it is it's pretty consonant four part harmony all the time. Everybody's singing the same chord at the same time, other than embellishments, which is another whole class that you're gonna have this week. But a lot of it is, is sung the same. It's, there's not a lot of counterpoint. There's not a lot of, um, it's, it's just a lot the same. Chording follows the circle of fifths. For those of you who know anything about music and arranging, um, the, the closer we follow the circle of fifths, generally the better the chords, the ringier the sound, the better the barbershop. Dominant sevenths chords for a third or more of the song. You know, that's the, that used to be a judging category thing was, you know, count the chords, you know, make sure, but we can all kind of tell, right? You can tell if something's barbershoppy or not barbershoppy. And it doesn't really matter what era it was written in. There are songs in old, older styles that are obviously perfect for barbershop, but there are newer songs that can do it just as well. And then I put a resource down the bottom for you here, a, a website um, that, that you can get a, a bigger picture of it than what we just did. Karen, what is consonant four part? harmony mean? Con consonant means together, 
rather than a consonant like we speak. Okay. Consonant is blended, probably is the best term for it. Okay, next screen. Some stylistic components. Now, so those were things that set barbershop aside from other a cappella, but then there are things that we use within barbershop that make that make it exciting and make it interesting and make us think, yeah, I like that. I recognize that. That makes me feel good, whatever. So let's look at this screen. Embellishments like swipes or bell cords. Um, we tend to add key changes. And in a lot of cases, it's to add interest because we don't have instrumentation. So a key change gives us that little jolt of extra energy. We get unexpected chord progressions. Have you ever been singing and then all of a sudden you go, oh, what a great chord that was, or wow, I didn't feel like that was going there or, or something. You know, we have unexpected stuff. Um, I noticed Anne is on here, Anne McAlexander, and Patrick is a fantastic arranger who does wonderful stuff with chords and progressions. One of the things that we have that's really unique, I think, to both barbershop and jazz, which are both American art forms, is the tension on penultimate chords. Penultimate meaning the next to last chord. You know, so you ever get that feeling where we're holding that and we're just waiting for it to resolve itself? Yeah. That's a, that's a common barbershop or jazz feel. And then when it does resolve, you've got that, that oh, you know, that was so, that was so good. And we tend to target vowels on the downbeat where SATB tends to target consonants on the downbeat. So the articulation is very clean for them. We're, we're more the articulation is very clean. We still have to be very clear about our consonants and very articulate with everything, but we don't target the consonant on the downbeat. It's almost like we sing a little ahead so that the vowel can be on the downbeat. And then I put this little group all by itself here because we're one of the acapella in general have to be, acapella people have to be good ear singers. You know, they have to be good listeners. In order to lock chords we use what's called just intonation, which means, for those of you familiar with Pythagorean tuning, that's part of it. You know, we might just have to raise a note a little bit or lower it a little bit just to make that chord actually lock. And somebody earlier had mentioned, Laura, I think, right, had mentioned locking, the satisfaction of locking a chord. So if we're ear singing, and we're using just intonation, we create locked chords and locked chords create overtones and creating the ring is what excites us. A lot of the times, a lot of time we get hooked into, as long as I get the notes and the words right, I'm okay. You know, as long as it's in tune, I'm singing the right notes, it's okay but it's not necessarily special. You're just kind of contributing to a sound that maybe could be better, that maybe could have a ring in the sound. When we talk about ring in the sound, sometimes we talk about singing into the cloud up above, or we talk about balancing, you know, so let's say the tenor's not overwhelming. You know, we talk about things that let it line up because creating the ring is what excites us and keeps us coming back. Next slide. So here's the good part. And actually I will ask you on this one to uh, contribute. What parts are there to a barbershop song? Well, 
What'd you say? An intro. An intro. Tag. Tag. Chorus and verse. Yep. Could have a stop. Usually huh? a key change, a key chain. Okay. Somebody okay. said a bridge. Oh yeah, okay. The a occasional post. bass melody. Say that again. The occasional bass melody. True, or an occasional solo of any kind, dominant part, right? How about, how about a post? A post? How about a stomp? Ooh, I like that. Writing that down, including it next time. <laughs> a swipe or embellishments? Yeah. And very often a ten the tenors are have the melody at in the tag or at the very end. Okay. Okay, that's good. So let's move on and see what I thought of before you mention them. <clears throat> we can we can look at this whole screen, Kate. So we have some samples here for you to listen to. And they're heavy on the intros and the tags because those are the best parts usually, right? So let's just listen to these. This is ambiance, which is the best one note intro I've ever heard. I have these all loaded and now it's being cranky. One moment. Uh... But anyway, that first note, right? Three wow. octaves, three octaves, sets up the song. It's exciting. Um, okay, and then we'll do a, a little more traditional barbershop intro from one of my favorite quartets. <laughs> She's not biased at all when she says that. <laughs> you're in it. So I'm big boy, you're gonna miss me. Why did you tell those lies? Much more typical, thank you for the thumbs up, yes. <laughs> Much more typical of, of, a, of a strong up tune intro, right? Very nice. Okay, and then we have, what, who's next, Kate? Westminster. Westminster Chorus. This is a, so a more modern intro that's also very strong, but very complicated. I'm going to plug again. This will work really well if everyone shuts off their video and mutes. They know it's less fun, but it's just better interneting. So thanks, everybody. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> and then we have, I have one more that I included because like Ambiance's first one, her, their one note intro, this is not a one note intro, but the style that this quartet uses and this intro, this intro just <clears throat> hit everybody in the, in, I was there live for this one. Um, so listen to this one. I was born.
Yeah. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Okay. So those are intros, all sorts of different kinds of intros. And then we have Echoes. Echoes. Okay. Starts right away, the echo. Yep. Sam, you're invited now, right now, by the way. Okay, so not only did you get some echoes, you even got a bell cord. Mm -hmm. All right, and then we have um, this next clip. I should I should call up the. I have some notes in here that I want to make sure I don't miss, but this next clip is from the Ringmasters. Mm -hmm. It's an echo, an example of an echo in there songs. Oh, darling, no, oh, my darling, please believe me, please believe me, darling, I'll never do you no harm. Yeah, just that first section. Besides, it's fun to listen to Martin sing. <laughs> And then we have call and response. Call and response, which is very also common in gospel songs. Yep. And I think we have Gas House Gang first. Yep. Yep. She promised me. She promised me that she would be. That she would be. So echoes and call and response are very similar. I think of the call and response more in terms of gospel songs or something like, um, if you've ever heard, you know, hidey, hidey, hi, and then the audience sings it, ho, dee, ho, dee, ho, and the audience sings it, you know, anything that that's kind of like an exaltation, exaltation type of thing. And then what else did we have for? Uh, middles comes next. Oh yeah, see, we didn't mention middles earlier, but when I learn tags, a lot of times we'll also teach middles if there are really good middles. So here's a couple of middles for you. This is um, love notes. Yep. Okay. One of the best middles. And would I trade you for Yes. Who needs the rest of the song, right? <laughs> Karen, um, somebody said, isn't th that the same as the bridge? Hmm. Can anybody speak to that? That, that knows no, not me? exactly. It's a huge embellishment that comes off at the end of a phrase, usually, to just show off their vocal prowess. Yeah, because a bridge would kind of have a subject of its own and its own form, a piece of its own form, is, is what I would have said. Thank you, Susan. Though. Yeah, and that bridge is a separate structure than the rest okay. of the song, usually. Okay. And that is called a middle? Well, not officially. We're just calling it a middle because it's in the middle of the song and it's worth learning like you would learn a tag. <laughs> so let's give you one more middle. I'm down on my knees. I'm begging you, baby. Oh, please. Please, baby. Please. Oh, my God. One of my favorite 
what gets. <laughs> Ringmasters, wow. Ringmasters are well worth listening to for anybody who hasn't Googled them. Go, go take a look at some of the stuff they do. Okay, so we're not really showing the slides here, but as we move on to the next slide, it says. Uh, patter and counter melodies. Oh, which, hold on one sec, because we didn't mention this in, in our list, right? So patter, um, counter melodies would be like fun in just one lifetime, you know, or I've got a song to sing or play me a simple melody. You know, we have a couple of songs going against each other. Mm -hmm. Patter is generally after a part of a song has been sung and then someone sings a separate line while the other three parts sing what's been sung. So this is an example of that and that would be the Dapper Dams. Nice to see all your faces. Okay. And then I think we had one more example of. Yes. Oh, yes. This is another one of my favorite quartets, my favorite musical quartets. And they do a, a great job here with um, not patter, but. Um, counter melody, I think. And, and there are some echoes that are going on in here too, some call and response that happen in here too. Of a basic street, street is the street where the elite always meet in New Orleans, down in the land of dreams. Yes, you'll never know. Okay, so music people, what would you actually call that? Can't hear you. They're, they're, they're sort of like musical embellishments of, uh, on the theme. So ba, you... da, ba, da, 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 ba. It sort of helps get into the next chord. Okay. Because you West, could hold West, basement West. street is the, but it's a little embellishment given to a voice part for show off and for helping the, the part move along and become more exciting. But when we when she does that straight melody basses, we're used to that, right? Yep. We're used to that ba da da mm -hmm. while stuff is going on all around us. Oh yeah, that's opposing syncopation. There we go. Let me write that down too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next next slide is what? Pickups. Pickups. Pick so we're actually going to hear. A whole section of the sun tones doing how are things in glockamora because in this you're going to hear a pickup you're going to hear a couple of pickups and then you're going to hear some swipes listen for the baritone swipe and then the baritone bass swipe and then you're going to hear a post all in this same sample so here it goes So I ask each weeping willow and each brook along the way, and each lass that comes a-sighing to relay, how are things in black Oh. 
Nice. Nice. Pretty. Yeah. He was, he was an incredible tenor. Uh, Very nice. So <laughs> on this same thing though, we talked about swipes. Swipes are one of the most fun things that we can do that are original to barbershop really and jazz. Uh, this next swipe is, has gotta be the swipe to beat all swipes. This will be the rich tones. Here it goes. Yeah, no, Barkley. <laughs> How did you know? Beat all swipes. Now, just to be official, Susan, is that actually a swipe or is that just a glyph? I think the glyph is the way you perform it, but it's an actual swipe. A glyph is when you actually put a little bit of every note in, in there and, and make it last as long as possible. And a, a swipe is just two notes on the same vowel, two or more notes on the same vowel, but the gliss comes in with a little bit of vocal skill. You can't just blah, do a drunken gliss. It has to has to <laughs> to honor the yeah. beauty of the sound. Yeah, and it certainly does. I mean that I love that sample. And then we have uh, a sample of a post because this was our this was our posts, swipes, pickups, mm -hmm. swipes, and posts slide. Yeah. Here's a post. <laughs> awesome. There are definitely some notable posters, but Todd is Todd is for sure one of them. Um, that was that's probably about thirty five seconds that particular post. Um, so can we see the next slide? Yep. Thanks for doing that, by the way, since we couldn't seem to manage yep. to have me doing it. So way past that. Now we're... Oh, that's right. We, have, we still have tags to do. So Marion, can I check it, the time with you? Yep. Whoops. 7.52. Okay. I was going to let you know when it was five minutes before the end, but. Okay. So we're going to not hear all of these. Most of you have heard Class Ring. Lucky old son. Based post on Sweet Adeline. Um, so let's do the first two. Max Factor all the way. Love you. Awesome. Did you notice the smooth handoff of the tag halfway that's, through? That's seamless. <laughs> it was seamless. That's seamless. Yep. So I still count that as, as a good long tag, even though, <laughs> even though they handed it off. And then we'll listen to uh, this next one only because Side Street Ramblers, only because I want you to know where this came from. 
you know that I love you, I will till I die. And I'm sorry I made you cry. I made you cry. Okay, and back to the slides. Is that Brian Beck? That is Brian. No, it no, it wasn't Brian Beck. It's Earl Hagen and Little Dale. Short guy. No. Looked like Brian. Holy jeepers. Yeah. No, isn't though. Um, so, go go back just one sec, Kate. Um, so, Crossroads. If you have not heard this tag, or if we have time at the end, we'll go back and play this. And Classroom, you most of you have heard because that was recent and just an impressive bass tag that was 20 seconds probably. Okay, next line. How do we make acceptable barbershop good barbershop? We can show Sing them. it well. Yes, all of these things come into it. So sync, Brian was the lead, Ann? Yes, he was. All right. That's right. That was his lead shot. Wow. Um, just so you know, Karen, you have five minutes. Okay, thanks. So we'll just kind of whip, most of you know what this is, sync. There are exercises you can do to help all of these things. I'm sure during the course of the week, you're going to be hearing more of those. Um, that's right. Brian Beck was the only one to be in all four, you know, in, in all, yeah. all four parts in the top 10. Um, blend, how it matches, vowel match, singing in the same space, matching resonance, balancing the parts, balancing the chords, forward motion, word sound to word sound to word sound, and moving, moving it forward so it's a consonant thought, it's a, it's a clear thought. Vocal freedom, resonance, fine tuning, Getting the overtones, which by the way, you heard clearly probably in Max Factor's tag and ring. Comes back to ring. If you can make it ring, you're good. All right, next slide. This is where you can learn it all. It's very funny because you go in here and you go into the judging category description booklet or it's equivalent in the other organization and society um, and it takes away all the miscellaneous stuff that you don't really need to be focusing on. And it tells you what you do need to be focusing on. Look, next slide. What's the Karen, difference between a ring and an overtone? Oh, Hang on one sec. Yep. Ring and overtone can be taken together. Everything has an overtone. Like anything you touch has a harmonic series that creates an overtone above it. Ooh. Ring is what we get when we, when we lock a chord, when it's just tuned and it's, and, and you get, and, you, and it creates the overtone, it creates the ring. So they're very similar, but everything has an overtone, not everything has a ring. Ooh. I'll put it that way. All right, do we have the sound category? If we had time, we'd spend time on this, but no. We have the music category, which looks to be the most difficult since it has two pages. <laughs> we have the expression category. It is, it is the most difficult and it takes brainy people to be there. <laughs> All right. And then we have showmanship. For now. All of those things are available for free to any member of Sweet Adelines that logs in. You can get um, an e, a download mm -hmm. of the book. Yep, that's so where the, these, these images came from the most recent one that will have soon, the next one will have the visual communication category and all the details. Right. And next, whole thing. So I'm just going to show you these because you already heard Todd Kidder do that goodbye. Most of you have heard Tim Warwick. And this is a good example of a long one. I spent about eight hours yesterday looking for long posts from Sweet Adelines. 
and Gina Baker was the longest I could get with about a 19 or 20 second post. Yeah. And uh, Tony DeRosa, of course, you saw, and who was, oh, and Jacob Sten, uh, Stenberg from the Ringmasters. Yep. Okay, and the last slide. The last one. Oh, sorry. Order of buttons, share screen. I was gonna leave you five minutes at the end for questions, but we took the five minutes at the beginning, sorry. <laughs> yeah, it is, it is eight o'clock, Karen. Okay. And here are some examples that you could go take a look at if you wanna hear a difference between barbershop and regular sound. All right, so is there any past eight o'clock burning question? Are we gonna be able to see the slides somewhere? Yeah, I had asked Kate that, I, I, she didn't answer me though. Yeah, sorry, I can't see. It's so okay, no, don't be silly. Kate, will they be able to see this slide? If you if you allow it, yes, I can get them to Patty and they can be widely distributed. It's up to you as the content creator. Yes, and taken for granted, I mentioned Christina as a poster. And thank you, Anne, for joining. And thanks everybody for doing it. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you, Karen. That was fun. Yeah, thanks, Karen. Yeah, thanks, that was Karen. a great little overview of everything. Yeah.